Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create square letterbox videos using Camtasia. Now these videos are very effective when used on Facebook, Instagram and other social media platforms and they're actually proven to increase video views by 30 to 35 percent and increase engagement by up to 80 to 100 percent. Now the reason behind this is because if you imagine scrolling through Instagram or Facebook and you just see random videos, you don't know what the videos are about and you tend to scroll past them. Now when you see a video that's got a border above it like this one and, and below, uh, in those borders you can have any type of uh, attention grabbing headline which pretty much tells you what that video is about and that is what makes people click these videos. Okay, So it increases views, it increases engagement, really effective on social media and I'll show you exactly how to do these now. Okay, so now let's look at creating one of these square letterbox videos. Uh, you can see that I'm in Camtasia. This is Camtasia 3. Um, and you can see the video dimensions at the moment. This canvas here is 1920 by 1080. So this is just a typical widescreen video. Okay, so we want to change that to a square video so that we've got the columns above and below the video. So we simply go over to Camtasia, click on this, and go to Preference. Preference is there. And you've got these different options here, but you want to click on the project and where you've got this one, click on custom. And then you can change the width and the height. So let's just go 700 by 700. Now that won't change here unless you hit enter. Okay, so you can see custom 700 by 700. And now I can just delete that. And what I'm going to do is go to uh, file and new project. Okay, so now we can see we've got this new project and we've got a square video. So what we can then do is go file and let's go for, um, we want to import a video. So we go there and we'll click on this one. And we can now drag that into the timeline. So we just put that there. And then you can see that's uh, straight away that's added that into this square video. Okay, so now we want to start thinking about uh, putting some text on there. So we just go over to the, um, bear with me a second, where are we, where are we? Um, annotation, sorry. And then we can just click on this one here, look, text. We can just drag that over. And then you can kind of resize that little box to fit the top there. And obviously then you can just type in whatever you want. So um, watch this and if you want to change the uh, text highlight the text and you can uh, you can also let's say for example we highlight that go to properties and then you can see this area here so you can change this size of the text you can change the uh, font type so let's change it to that or to this one so let's just change it slightly um, and you can also then change the color. So if you wanted that, um, let's say you wanted that that color, okay. And if you wanted to, for example, let's say let's say this was white. So we'll go back and oops, go back and put that to uh, white. So you need to highlight it first. Let's say white, okay. Now if I wanted to put a little color around this, like a uh, a box. Now what I can do is I'll go to this bit here. And let's just grab this box, put it over here, and we'll just resize it. So obviously this is pretty quick and easy, really, when you once you get used to sort of doing it, especially. I'm just going to move that down a little bit like that. And then if I want to change the color of the box, then I can just go there. Let's change it to red. Obviously you can change whatever color you want. And then what we'll do is we'll click on it and we want to move it sort of back behind as well. So if we click on that, we can go to the arrange and send it back. Okay, so there you can see the text. So it makes really makes that, that text stand out. So we can just resize that if we wanted to. Okay, just make that stand out. So that looks pretty good. And then obviously if you wanted to add text below as well, you just grab that. Do the same thing, put that there, just position the box to fit the the column there. And also, um, let's just put video, okay. And you've also got different effects as well with this in uh, as well. I'll just show you some different, uh, some other effects. So 
you've obviously got that. Uh, also with this box as well, you can go to that, you can uh, click on the rectangle, you've got different shapes. Um, you can have it solid or gradient and you can change the opacity as well. And also with this line thickness, so if we just turn that up a little bit, like you can see there's a, a nice white line around it as well. So that you know really makes it sort of stand out and obviously the, the more you make this stand out, um, when you're sharing this type of video obviously on social media, the more it stands out, um, the more the better the headline as well. So obviously, you know, watch this video is not really that great, but you want the, the headline um, or the uh, the captions really here to uh, really grab someone's attention and kind of um, tell them a little bit about the video, you know, like seven ways to do something, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then once you've got the video all ready to go and you're happy with the uh, text, then the next thing you want to do is just click on share, share the local file. And now this is really important. Now, if you just downloaded that to your computer, that would still download it um, as a 1920 by 1080 video and it'd look all squashed up. So what you need to do is just click on options and this is here, look, you've got it set to 1920, 1080. Click on that and go custom. And then this is where you can see seven by 700 by 700. And then click OK and export. And then you can see that's downloading. So that'll download that video as a square video to your computer. Another option would be to grab this software. You can simply grab an image and you can use different stock images for your background. So if we just import that one there, add that, and you can just drag that. You can see, uh, drag that behind the image to fit the border. Let's just add that again and drag that one down to there. Okay, and then you just save that and then you can put in text. So you can also add text animations on this as well, which really help grab attention. Uh, so we're just gonna change the font and the color. So we're just gonna put red and add. Okay, so let's edit the next one. So put footer here. And again, just choose the color. Let's go for that and the text. Okay, so we can just add that now. Drag that down. So you can see that that type of font really sort of helps as well. So we're going to create some subtitles. So you can add your subtitles here and add. Okay, so you can put them on. You can see the subtitles now in the bottom of the video as well. So if you'd like to use this software, I'm going to add a link somewhere around this video for you. Just click on the link, go grab the software. I'm sure you're going to really enjoy it. It's so quick and easy to create these types of videos using this software. And as you can see, you can use all the different types of fonts, font animations, subtitles, and anything you need as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, just feel free to like, subscribe, leave me a comment or question below, and I'll see you in the next video.